So remember 10 days ago when you were all complaining how cold it was? Yep. And I was with you. Yep. But look what happened just today. Wow. We tied the record today. 78 degrees wow. back in 2004. So, swing. yeah, 67 degree swing. And I was thinking, what is this? It's typical Texas for us. I mean, and folks are like, oh my gosh, the weather, it's up and down, up and down. I'm like, it is, it is. It's Texas this time of year. If you want consistent weather, I'll talk to you in July and August when it's 100 degrees every day. So this is the way it works the rest of the year when we get outside of the summer. 11 to 78, a 67 degree temperature swing. And now look at this. In Fort Worth, it's 72 right now. We have clouds in place. There's the high today of 78, ties that record from back in 1970, uh, back in 2004. The normals are 56 and 36. That's our normal low. The low this morning, 64 degrees. Outside right now, it's 74. South, southwest winds at 10 miles per hour. Pollen. Mountain Cedar's the culprit. No longer is it ragweed. Ragweed season ended when we had that hard, long freeze. So ragweed season's over. Mountain, you know how long Mountain Cedar sticks around in, in Texas? It sticks around until we green up in the spring. So we're going to be dealing with mountain cedar for the next several months. Right now, all quiet here in Dallas, Fort Worth. The only thunderstorm in anywhere in North Texas, and it's Northeast Texas. It's outside of Sulphur, between Mount Vernon and Sulphur Springs, just to the south of I-30. It's not even severe, but that's the only thunderstorm. Otherwise, a couple little spotty showers. Right now, we'll watch this cold front move in, and there is a tornado watch for East Texas, the Arklatex, and then Eastern and Southeastern Oklahoma. But nothing at all in effect here in North Texas. I mean, we have that sinking air in place. We have a cap in place. So it's really preventing thunderstorms from firing up. This uh, arrival of this cold front, there it is at 9 o'clock. We'll have a little bit of rain that will try to develop in advance of that front. But I, it's going to be tough. I mean, you can see a little line of maybe a little shower, a little thunderstorm. I don't have anything severe in my forecast really from this point on, unless you're at East Texas or southeastern Oklahoma. I think we're all in the clear right now. The sun is set. Cold front moves through uh, later this evening, so we'll keep an eye on this. We'll be here all night keeping an eye on things, and we'll certainly keep you updated. Uh, but lows tomorrow morning won't be like the 60s we had this morning. They'll still be warmer than normal. The normal's 36. That's a normal low. We'll be in the 50s tonight. Highs tomorrow still above normal, but not the upper 70s to lower 80s we saw today. 66 is the high tomorrow. And what about temperatures the next few days? Well, they're up and down. But remember, the normal high is 56. So although Sunday will be at 56, for the most part, it's just above normal temperatures. And unfortunately, not a whole lot of rain either as we head through the next, not only the next seven days, but really the next 10 to 12 days. My forecast tonight has all that in it. Breezy, cooler, any rain that develops comes to an end pretty quickly. 52 is the low tonight, and then during the day tomorrow, uh, a little bit of cloud cover in the morning, then partly sunny, dry, cooler, and breezy. Tomorrow's high is 66. There's the next 10, and out of the 10, there's only two days that have those low chances of rain, and that's it. I mean, that is all we have. 64 Saturday, 58 on Sunday. A couple low chances of rain, otherwise uh, uneventful weather.